Okay, uh, as before, uh, if I tell you anything that's at odds with what your coach is telling you, do what your coach says. Uh, these are just my opinions. Well, right off the bat, the first comment I have is the face-offs. You guys are doing a great job uh, facing off all day. I'm not sure if it was the same guy. Uh, it's a little hard to see numbers here, and I don't know everyone yet. But uh, very, very nice, solid job facing off. All right, on this one, uh, they have a fast break coming down the right side of the field. Now, what's going to happen is the defenseman from the crease is going to slide out to pick up the open man coming down with the ball, leaving wide open the guy on the crease, on this side of the crease. They didn't see it. Uh, it didn't hurt you this time, but they do see it later on. The same thing happens again. That is the most dangerous guy on the field right there, and you left him open. Well, he's most dangerous after the guy with the ball. So once you stop the ball, he becomes the most dangerous guy, and uh, that's not where the slide should come from. I don't think you guys have had any practice running, or not much practice running fast breaks. That's one thing that uh, I think you need to get a little practice with, and you'll see how those things work. Okay, here I've stopped it. This guy is going to the goal. If there's any doubt in your mind, there shouldn't be. Uh, and the attackman at X is standing right there with his defenseman in the way. Okay, once he sees him put his head down or he sees him coming in full speed about to run by his defender, he should, the, the, the guy at X should go around to the other side, take his defender with him. If he doesn't go, he's going to be wide open standing on the crease. Uh, so you have to recognize when a guy is going to the goal, get out of his way, do whatever it takes to drag your defender out of the way. So uh, you need to recognize those situations. It happens a few times. Okay, this one I didn't pause it, but they're uh, excellent. That's just excellent hustle from from the attack, and I, I saw it all day, the whole game. You totally outplayed those guys. And uh, not only that, once you did get the ball, what an excellent look that was. Uh, just all around hustle and, uh, and a great play, and great shot too. Very nice defense here. A slide's going to come over, and instead of just swinging a stick at him, the defender puts a body on him, and the great results, just as he was passing the ball. So uh, you'll see uh, several times later on that uh, guys are just swinging a stick, and the, uh, the guy with the ball is running right by him. So we'll talk about that a little bit more later.
Okay, coming up is another fast break with a slide from the crease. That's really not where the slide needs to come from. Um, in a perfect world, the far the defenseman on the far side of the field would have taken the ball. His man is the highest up. He's further out. He's five yards from the restraining line. He's the least dangerous player. He should have slid to take the ball, and then the two defenders on this side could have stayed with their men because they're much more dangerous, in my opinion, than the guy on the far side of the field. So you have to uh, figure out how to, how to cover those uh, fast breaks, and it's just practice. You just need to run them a few times. This is just an excellent look and a nice shot. Just didn't. Uh, I'm not sure if the goalie made a save on it or if it, if it bounced over, but uh, very nice play. That's the way to find the open guy. There's a lot of good defense in this section. I like how guys are going out on the ball and then dropping back in. Uh, and I just want to say something about the way I videotaped this. I put two cameras, had one on the, each end of the field, and I don't think I'll do it again because I missed a lot in the middle of the field. So uh, the way I did the first one was with one camera. I think I'll go back to that for the next one just to let you know. They come in up here. Uh, I think they're going to call warding off. I, I didn't see it, uh, and I can't see it in the video either. So I'm not sure that happened, although the ref uh, that ref the game usually does a pretty good job. So I'm, I'm guessing there was something there. But uh, that, was a, that was a warning call, I believe. I believe that was a nice save from the goalie. I couldn't tell what it hit in there, but both goalies played very good games. I was really impressed with both goalies.
Okay, the guy behind at X is going to go to the goal. Look at the guys. Look at the defenders on that side of the field. Now, they don't slide in time, and he's going to score anyway. But you could really help him out if you cut through and got your defender out of the way. Recognizing when a guy's going to the goal is very important. Okay, I thought the defense played a very good game also. This is one instance, though, where the defender was not under control and tried to play defense just with a stick. And the guy is going to run by him. And then I think the second guy does the same thing. Uh, body position is most important playing defense. The stick is secondary. So come out under control. Don't come out too quick. Poke check as you're coming out. Keep some pressure on that guy so he can't just let it fly. But you can't run out past him like this or bad things are going to happen. Okay, here comes another instance of playing with the stick and not with the body. Got uh, right by the defender. This was an excellent decision to pull the ball out. You had uh, three attackers on uh, four, at least four defenders, maybe five. Excellent time to pull it out, set up the offense. You don't have to shoot every time you're in front of the goal, and uh, that was a good choice. Good ball movement here, nice uh, finding the open man. That is where it should have gone, and that is a nice shot. Uh, well done. Okay, on this one, um, I think it's pretty clear he's not trying to go to the goal. He's trying to move the ball around. And the midi on this side should have probably gone closer, made a shorter pass, gone to the ball. Uh, this is such a long pass that it's not going to work out. Um, so in this instance, instead of moving away from him, it should have moved to him. And he shot it from there because there was like one second left.
Okay, here's another nice face-off, and as happens often on face-off, turns into a fast break. He's coming down the left side, left-handed. You should be, the two guys over here, the one in the center and the one on this wing, should be getting out of the way. They should be running like madmen to the other side of the field. This guy has got a clear lane to the goal if you take your defenders with you. And if you don't, then you'll be wide open. So this is a case where you have to recognize that it's time to get out of the way and let him go. And here's one more. Ball's back at X. He could take this guy all day long, but now we've got a uh, we've got a wing on this side that's in. You got his defender right in the way. So something to keep in mind. Something if he cuts through right now, then the guy at X has a clear shot to the goal. Okay, here's a nice play. This is what it looks like when it's done right. Mitty on this side is going to, I guess that's Mitty. He's going to cut through. He looks like he was thinking about setting a pick and then just goes through. But he gets out of the way. The, uh, the guy with the ball, left-handed, I'm guessing, comes down and makes a very nice shot left-handed. This is what it should look like. Now, I stopped it here just for the defenders. Look where that guy's playing. The defensive guy is playing back there, basically behind the goal. He could be of no help to this midi. There is no reason for him to be out there unless the coach said, don't let that guy get the ball. That's the only time you should be on a guy like that. Otherwise, you should be sloughed back in so you can help and slide in a situation like this. Nicely done. I believe you guys may have had between five and ten more goals if you had just uh, gotten out of a guy's way when he was ready to go. Uh, so it, that, that could be a big boost to your game. Okay, on this one, you have, have the extra man, and uh, the two guys on this side are going to realize they have one guy covering two. And uh, you do exactly the right thing. You pass the ball, make him go to the other guy, and then he's going he's gonna to be stuck trying to cover two guys. The first pass back out front, uh, uh, the guy had a shot. He just uh, dropped the ball, which is okay. He recovered. There, that would have been a shot right there. But now he gets it back and another nice shot because of the way they're playing defense. Uh, excellent recognition to realize that one guy is covering two, and that's really what you're looking for in most situations. Uh, even on a fast break, you're, you've got a four on three, that boils down to uh, eventually a two on one.
All right, this is an accidental trip, but uh, I think it's just the hustle is tremendous. And again, I, I saw this all through the game. You guys, you guys are hustling and going after ground balls. The attackers are chasing all the way up to midfield on the rides. Very, very, very impressive, the hustle. And that you need to keep that up. And uh, as everything else comes around, it's going to really pay off. Okay, this starts off as a nice looking clear. I like the way the goal, goalie cleared it out to the side to the defenseman. The defenseman looks in and gets it to a, a midi. Here's the problem. On this pass, the guy who's about to, uh, thinks he's about to catch the pass, is not moving toward the ball. He's not helping the guy out at all. The, there's a, uh, a guy from the other team that's just standing out there waiting for this pass to be made and he's going to jump in front and uh, it's all because uh, you're not moving to the ball it's that pass is too long and uh, it looks like you're open but the guy is just kind of baiting he's just trying to get you to throw that pass and then he's going to jump in front and pick it off and score I think your clears cost you three to five goals in this game. There's an old saying, uh, uh, an old belief that you don't clear the ball in the middle of the field. You'll hear people say that. I don't know that that's 100%. If you have a guy wide open running up the middle of the field, you probably want to get the ball to him. But it's the danger zone. You've got to be very careful when, you clear, when you're clearing in the middle of the field. And you're going to see some more examples of that here uh, in uh, later in this game uh, that cost you so be very very careful when you're clearing in the middle of the field don't do it unless you're 100% sure it's the thing to do Okay, here's another fast break. Um, not really set up the way you should be on a fast break, but if you guys haven't worked on that yet, I understand. But here's the thing. Uh, the guy with the ball is going to make a pass. He's trying to do the right thing. I think he's got a shot. He's gonna, Nobody's going to pick him up until he's in another almost 10 yards. And, uh, yeah, it's it could go either way. But think... Think about, uh, take a look at what kind of shot he would have had.
nice save and uh, nice clear. Now this is one time clearing in the middle of the field worked out for you, but again, do that with caution. Okay, so where do you think this ball should go? Pretty obvious, right? As I've said before, when a defender slides to pick you up, generally the open guy is going to be right where he just came from. Right over his head, you throw the ball, you're going to find the open guy. Now, eventually the ball is going to get down here uh, a little late, and it's going to be a little tough to handle, but uh, should have been down there much sooner. Well, I'm not sure how that pass got through, but uh, nice look, nice catch and, and shoot on the other end. Uh, well done. And here's another example of the attackman hustling up on the rides. I mean, just tremendous hustle to get up there to midfield like that. Now there's good body position defense. Stop the ball. Don't just swing a stick. Excellent, excellent defense. Okay, let's talk about defensive positioning a little bit. This defender's all the way out, just about to the restraining line. There's no way he can slide to help somebody if they need help in close. He needs to be in another at least 10 yards closer to the goal and get in there where he can help. Also, he needs to back up toward the camera three or four steps and create a little triangle where he can see his player and see the ball also, and this won't happen.
Oh, I like to watch those clears go out to the side like that. That's what it should look like. Remember what I said about clears in the middle of the field? Well, somebody should tell their goalie too, because this one's going to cost them. Okay, on this one, the uh, defender's playing way off the screen there, out of the box, way too far out. He's going to get beat. His teammate's going to have to cover for him, although the guy's going to get a shot off, and then the rebound's going to get picked up by them and put in the goal. So the whole series of events could have been avoided just with normal position defense. This guy's going to fight for the ball and wind up with the ball, but goes the wrong direction, poor guy. He's got good breaks, though. But that was an over and back. I think they called a timeout before it happened, and that's why they kept the ball, though. Well, what a nice save. The guy had a 10-yard shot. It looked like it was a hard shot. Very nice. Nice clear out to the side.
Okay, my first instinct here is what terrible spacing they have on offense. They have three guys right next to each other, which means three defenders right there. And you would think this would not be a good situation. But the guy defending the ball swings at him when he goes by, and the other guy's just a hair late getting there, and he gets the shot off and scores. Moral of the story is don't swing your stick at him. Stop him with your body. Get in front of him so he can't come around the goal like that. All right, this is going to be a give and go. A beautiful play. This is just excellent. Guy with the ball is going to throw it behind and immediately cut behind his defender, and the pass is going to come right back to him. He makes a nice catch and a nice shot. Doesn't go in, but uh, excellent, excellent play.
Okay, here's another example of uh, just playing defense, uh, tight defense out way too far. It's just, uh, it's not necessary to cover a guy at the restraining line. He can't, he's not going to shoot from there. So a uh, little pressure, but uh, certainly not tight defense out there. Okay, here's one of those clears into the danger zone, this time by a defenseman, and uh, spoiler alert, it's not going to work out well. Okay, same for a defenseman as it is for the goalie or midi. Be very, very careful clearing in the middle of the field. Okay, uh, I want to take a second to talk about clears and rides. When you're riding the, uh, the other team, uh, it's generally accepted that once they get the ball across midfield, the ride is over, the ball's cleared, and, they, and you need to get back on defense. It's kind of the same situation here. The guy's picked up a ball off the faceoff. Pretty much, he's going to get over midfield. There's not going to be anybody to stop him. You don't want to be playing defense out here, and you're about to see why, okay? The, at this point, everybody should be dropping back on defense, and that's why you don't play defense at midfield.
Okay, ball's going back to X at a rapid rate of speed. Any idea where he wants to go next? I'm pretty sure he wants to come out this side, being right-handed and uh, having a step on his guy. But uh, once again, the wing's in the way. Now, I know this is the way you're supposed to set up your offense. But when you see this happening, you've got to cut through. Okay, good hustle coming out here to fight for this ball. But they've got possession now. And the thing to do is to turn around and get back inside the restraining line, get back in the hole, and get ready to play defense. Not uh, go after him some more and take a swing at him and let him go by you. Uh, that just puts pressure on everybody else. Okay, here, um, there are some techniques that can be used to help when you're playing defense. Number one, uh, if you have your stick in one hand fully extended and poke that guy while he's standing there, poke his bottom hand, um, it helps keep space between you and him. Uh, here he's going to get in too close and he's going to go around the defender. And then it's kind of like one swing and he's gone. Okay, better body positioning and poking a guy will go a long way. Okay, just one more time. I think this was here all day. I think he could have taken the ball from X and come around this side of the goal all day long if it had been clear. But I know you're also supposed to run your offense, so it's got to be some balance in there. All right, cutter wide open. Um, and the, the guy with the ball on the far wing didn't see it. That, that happens. But when you do get the ball, that's the first place you should look, right in front of the goal. And make sure that there's nothing like this going on. So that would have been a nice one to have. Okay, yet one more time, the ball's behind, and uh, he's going to beat his man, but the second defender is going to knock him down. So, I don't know, maybe bring it up to the coach. If you, if you guys need a goal, I think that 
at least in this game, that was there all day. Okay, I like where this defender is picking up the, the player, uh, but the technique needs a little work. Uh, first thing you should do as you're coming out is poke him. Poke him hard in the chest. Let him know you're there. And then as he gets closer to the goal, you're going to have to collapse and go body to body with him. Uh, instead of uh, what happens here is a little slap of the stick as he goes by. So... Um, it's a little technique that has to be learned and it has to be practiced, but there's a way to do that uh, effectively. Okay, the camera's a little late getting here, but uh, either there was an attempt to intercept the pass or an attempt to knock this guy down, which failed. He's going to go around the defensive midi, which is going to cause, cause the other midi to have to come over and pick him up, leaving his man open. He drops the ball off to him, and he's got an easy look at a cutter coming across the middle. So uh, an overplay on the midi on this side, uh, resulted in a goal, essentially.